Super Machine has various tools that you can use within it. To get to any of these tools, all you need to do is select tools from the top menu. Here you will see the list of tools on the left sidebar. At the moment, you can use a remove background tool, a face swap tool, an image to prompt tool, and an upscale tool. If you want to use the remove background tool, all you have to do is click it from the left sidebar, select an image to remove the background of, and choose that image. You can choose from existing albums, or you can upload an image directly. Once you have selected your image, simply click the yellow button and it will start working on removing the background of that image. Here you can see the image with the background removed. Removing background from images can be really useful for graphic design purposes if you have a website and you have specific sections where you want images with a removed background not to interfere with the existing background of the website. So I will be able to then download this image and use it for my needs. The next demonstration I want to show is for the face swap feature. So to use this feature, I need to select face swap from the menu. I'm then going to choose my face image. I am then going to choose my initial image which is an older image of myself. And what I'm expecting to happen is my face is going to turn Asian as this portrait of a Japanese man becomes the image of my face. So if I hit swap, I will wait for the image to then generate. And we have our output of myself looking like this Japanese male, which is quite funny to see, but you'll see the changes from my face to this Japanese male's face. So the face swap tool can be really useful for when you just want to change the face of an image. It's uh, super fun to play with and you can get some quite funny outputs by using it. The next tool I want to show is the image to prompt tool where I can simply take an image Let's take the one of our Japanese male and we can say use this image. And what's going to happen is when we hit convert to prompt, it's going to give us something that we could then feed back into an AI image generator to generate such an image in the future. So we've got a man sitting at a table with a plate of food in front of him and a fork in his hand. And then we have some tags of different uh, Japanese artists, which can be used. So this can be useful for when we just want to copy this prompt and generate more images like it. The final tool that we have is the upscale tool. So if I want to upscale an image, say our original Japanese image portrait, then I can do so by putting that image here and I can choose the different upscalers. So we have our ESR GAN for X plus, or we have an anime version to generate the image. And we can choose the different sizing of the upscale. The higher this is set to, the more large the image is going to be. And we can toggle whether we want to use a face enhanced tool on this or not. And by hitting the upscale, it's then going to download that upscaled version to our computer. So these are the different tools that you can use within Super Machine.